Antifa is a domestic terror group. They commit violence for political ends. But to CNN, they're heroes. Watch two of CNN's primetime hosts explain that Antifa is actually on the right side of history. Watch this. It says it right in the name, Antifa, anti-fascism, which is what they were there um, fighting. Listen, there's, you know, no organization is perfect. There was some violence. Um, no one condones the violence, but there were different reasons for Antifa and for these neo-Nazis uh, to be there. One, racist fascists. The other group fighting racist fascists. There is a fascist. There's a distinction there. They did not go the there to fight against hate. Oh, so Antifa's job is to fight against hate. Imagine saying something like that. I mean, not only is it just pure 200 proof propaganda, it's an utter lie and everyone knows it. It's also idiotic to fight against hate, says the guy who went to Yale. Okay. Well, if you think that's craven, check out the show United Shades of America. It's hosted by a professional hater called W. Camo Bell. Camu Bell. K A M A U. No clue on the pronunciation. Mr. Bell. Just two months ago, Bell openly promoted the Puget Sound John Brown Gun Club. That's the violent Antifa group that wa the Washington State gunman Von Spronson belonged to. And CNN promoted it. Watch this. I love that these are. Uh... I know. I like that. <laughs> Can I put that time yeah. on? I want to ask. You want to ask? Wow. And this is a. Uh... I okay. usually have a couple of those on me just in case. Just, uh, just in case. I use it for whatever I need to use it for. Point taken. It's, it's hard to believe that's real footage. That aired on CNN. That was a CNN anchor. Oh, I love these, he said, as he handles Antifa's weapons. Could CNN be any more explicit about promoting violence? And I know that there's this rivalry between the channels, and we accuse them of being left-wing, and they say we're right-wing and tools of trouble. Okay, fine, I, uh, I get it. But that, was, that guy works for CNN, and he's holding a knife and brass knuckles and saying, oh, I love this. They're, prom they're literally promoting violence. And worse than that, after that show aired, the clip we just showed you, that Bell guy encouraged people to donate money to the terror group. He used CNN to do this. He tweeted this, quote, Are you watching the United Shades episode about the Puget Sound John Brown Gun Club and the good work they are doing to actively end white supremacy by violence? Just understand that being on my show is bringing a lot more harassment their way. Do what you can to support them. He's literally raising money. CNN is raising money for Antifa. Keep in mind that the viewers who took that advice, who followed CNN's guidance and sent money to Antifa, helped fund Saturday's terror attack. Not that CNN cares. In the words of Don Lamont, the gunmen were just fighting racist fascists. Okay. And you know, he's not a racist or a fascist. He was put in the hospital by these people, by Antifa. He's an editor at Quillette. And he joins us tonight. And he, how, how do you, I mean, how does that make you feel as someone who got a brain hemorrhage because you were beaten and sensible by Antifa to see them promoting violence on CNN? Well, two weeks after my beating, um, it shouldn't come as a surprise that there's escalating violence by Antifa. I've been warning this for a long time. Over the weekend, it, we sh f heard the shocking news of an Antifa militant going to an ICE facility and firebombing it and coming with an armed rifle and then he, according to police, attempted to blow up the propane, commercial sized propane tank that was attached to the building. Um, not only did CNN give a glowing profile to the Antifa militia that this man was a member of, um, as you mentioned, the host of the show solicited um, the public to donate to this group. And if you watch the documentary, there are scenes where you can actually see Saturday's um, attacker in the documentary. I, I, I mean, I'm, look, I used to work at CNN. I know that there are decent people who work there. I know everything's more complicated than it seems at first. But I'm still, sh I'm just being completely blunt. I am shocked that they did that. How could a, cha a news channel promote a terror group like this? And nobody said anything about it. Did anyone say, did you notice, did anyone notice this was happening? Well, the problem is a lot of these uh, producers and journalists are based in D.C. or New York. They don't embed themselves in these demonstrations as I do here in the Pacific Northwest. I actually had cross paths with the attacker um, 
Back in December, he was part of the John Brown Gun Club militia that attempted to prevent me from recording an Antifa demonstration in downtown Seattle. And they accosted me carrying with the, their rifles on their chests to intimidate me. So at that time, that was you know, it really forced me to realize the potential for violence. I mean, this movement claims that they will only um, engage in violence in self-defense, but under Antifa's uh, definition of self-defense, it's actually premeditated and offensive. So the ideology paves way for what we saw over the weekend. So the very group that CNN was promoting was wandering around with rifles intimidating people. Yes. I, I'm almost out of words. I, would, I guess I would just end by asking, are you surprised by that? Uh, no, I'm not surprised. I've been saying for a long time that the media has a dangerous blind spot to far-left militancy. And uh, you've highlighted journalists that continue yeah. to be their cheerleaders, and they work in mainstream media. Yeah, you're right. No, I guess I've, I've been saying that for a long time, too. But saying it and seeing it are two different things. And you can, just, you can, you can see where this is going. And it's really sad. The country does not deserve the people running it. And that, would, that particularly applies to Jeff Zucker at CNN, who's a reckless man. Andy, thank yeah, you. Yeah, and over two weeks after the beating, I mean, there's been no arrests. And so I'm calling for supporters to check out the legal fund at publiuslex.com. Good. We want to hold everyone responsible who was involved in the brutal beating on me. Uh, I hope so. I hope so. Thank you. And, you know, good My to pleasure. see you tonight.